I guess this is me Rohan. I hope you all are doing absolutely fine. I know I am posting my video after a long time. I think I have posted one year ago my video. Yeah, so today we're gonna be see like how we can send email using ESP8266 or we can say Node MCU without using uh, any third party services. So here we have our setup. Here is my laptop. Here is my Node MCU and the connector. So let's get started. Now we will see the components required for this project. So there are only two components that we required for this project. One is Node MCU, which is uh, ESP8266 and uh, a connector. Basically, it's a micro USB to USB A connector. And yeah, that's it. We need only these two things because we are making a email sender, not a project. So yeah these are the things we require now we will talk about the code so let's switch to our screen here we have our uh, programming section okay let's talk about each line one by one so well, let's talk about these so this line includes the necessary library for the arduino framework email sender library and esp8266 wi-fi library okay and then these line declares variable such as um, ssid and password to store the wi-fi network credentials over here you have to replace your ssid this one with the name of your Wi-Fi network and your password with the corresponding password, okay? Then we have these two lines. These lines define a variable connection state and reconnect interval, okay? So connection state is used to track the Wi-Fi connection state and the reconnect interval determines the time interval in milliseconds for attempting reconnection, okay? Then we have this line. So this line creates an intense of the email sender class name email send and it, it uh, initializes it with the sender's email address and password so replace your sender password with the password of the sender's email account okay uh, and let me tell you one thing that over here first of all you have to create a, a third party password a, third part, a password for third party applications okay uh, i will give you a link in the description of a video from where you can know how you can create a, a secondary password for your projects okay uh, because whenever you whenever you use your original password then google gonna send you a sign in thing that uh, is it you or not so that's why uh, using that one it will be easy for you to uh, to make your projects without getting this interrupted mail okay then after this we have this part uh, wait, wait a minute yeah this one this whole part yeah so basically uh, this line defines a function which is named wi-fi connect that establish, uh, establishes a wi-fi connection it takes two potential parameters n ssid for the network ssid and n password for the network password okay then after that we have uh, void awaits okay this line defines name awaits which wait for a successful wi-fi connection before proceeding and after that we have void setup so this line declares a setup function which is called once when the program is start after that we have serial dot begin so uh, here we will uh, mention the baud rate over here i have mentioned 115200 as my baud rate uh, after that we have connection state equals to wi-fi connect so the line attempts to establish the wi-fi connection using the provided ssid and password and stores the connection status in connection state variable okay then then we have if then we have this if part okay so if the wi-fi connection is not successfully uh, like is not connected successfully the code enters a loop to constantly attempt recon uh, reconnection until successful okay then we have this line okay these line creates an intents of uh, email sender email message instruct the name message and set the subject and message content for the email okay and over here you can change your subject whatever you want okay over here i have choose hello world as my message and subject as subject then we have uh, email sender this line right so this line uh, sends the email using send method of the email send intents it specifies the recipient's email address as arduino by 82005 gmail.com and includes the message struct okay uh, over here you have to like it's not necessary <laughs> here you have to mention the receivers uh, let me add receivers receivers email address okay over here you have to mention the receivers email address okay just like this uh, over here we have in the top we have to mention the like senders and over there we have to mention the receivers uh, email address after this we, uh, you will see these lines right uh, serial print uh, sending a status respond status respond dot code and this parts okay so 
these lines uh, print the status, response code, and description of the email sending process to the, the serial monitor for debugging pur uh, purposes. Okay, and after that we have a uh, while loop over here. So the line declares the loop function which is continuously ex executed after the setup function. Okay, so yeah, this was the uh, whole code that will send a message uh, or you can say email to your specified email account. So yeah, here we have the whole code. Uh, you will get this code link in the description from where you can uh, download it and use it or otherwise I will give the uh, GitHub link from where you can copy and use this code. Okay. Uh, now we're gonna test this. So let's get back to our previous setup. So over here you can check that uh, connection got established and we got the IP address and he and the mail has been sent. So let's check it out. So as you can see, we have got our email over here. Uh, just ignore the previous one. Actually, uh, uh, I was testing uh, this project every time, so that's why we got a lot of mails over here. Uh, this one is the latest one uh, so as you can see it works so yeah that's it i hope you love this project so if you have any doubt you can feel free to ask any questions in the comment section and apart from that you can uh, uh, email us at rohanbarnwal0 at gmail.com and uh, we will answer all your questions so till then goodbye have a good day Bye bye